Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com and today I'm here to show you Camel Fat. This is a uh, pretty interesting plug-in and uh, I'm going to show you some, some ways that you can use this in machine and really um, get some, some features into machine that, that I know a lot of people have been wanting. So the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, just the, um, the way it looks. Okay, So we look over here and you can see that we have a bandpass filter here and uh, in each little module there's a little on button so you can turn every little module in here on and off individually all right and the bandpass filter has independent control of the low and high pass filter and independent control of the resonance this BR mix is actually um, band rejection so and you you can of course link them here when you use band rejection it actually kind of flips the way that this works because this works before all these other modules what you can do is you can actually decide which frequencies are going to be affected by things like your flanger and your bit crusher and distortion uh, so it becomes really handy to be able to use this band rejection and kind of sculpt out your sound you've got an XY pad here which you can assign two parameters from anywhere in here you've got two LFOs you've got four different distortions and they can be blended together or used independent which is really nice uh, and then you've got a whole just ton of filters here you've got all the filters from uh, Alchemy and uh, Camo Audio just really went to town as far as putting in all these different filters there's also um, ring modulation in here peaking uh, the bit reduction is in there as well and an envelope follower is attached to that so you can um, get some nice ducking effects or pulsating sounds uh, you've got your cutoff your res and your mix knobs there over here you have a flanger pretty standard um, really easy to use just two knobs the magic EQ uh, is actually a really nice algorithm where it'll it'll sculpt out your sound and you bring up your amount and then you can tune to select uh, the frequency you want to have peaking there's also a fat mood for that that adds a little bit of grit and makes it uh, just kind of gives it a little bit different sound there's a fat mode as well for your compressor here again simple operation two knobs and then you have your master section with uh, your volume and your mix you can change your presets with um, MIDI program change. There's a randomized button so that you can quickly go through sounds. And uh, let's check out how this thing sounds. First, what I'll do is I'm going to mute the module. And I'm going to hit play so you can just hear these drums. I'll actually just record in a simple pattern. out that bass. Now let's bring in Camel Fat. Now if I want to add some distortion, let's say I want some tube distortion. Now let's say I want this thing to duck. I can take this, we'll go to So you can get lots of great sounds. Let's run through a couple of presets and then I'm going to show you some interesting things. Uh, let's go to the big drums.
So you can get some really interesting sounds with this and uh, lots of movement. Uh, just really uh, get into some interesting things. And these presets are, are designed by some of the uh, some of the best sound designers in the world. So really something to take note of uh, and really just get in there, use the uh, presets as a starting point or a reference and then kind of build off of them. So very nice. Now, something that I wanted to show you, uh, interesting thing is in machine, of course, we don't have sidechain and we all decry that. But what we can do with camel fat is we can actually uh, emulate a kind of sidechain sound. So here I have just a regular bass sound in Omnisphere and I'll play that by itself. And in Camel Fat, what I've done is I've just set the uh, LFO, both one and two, I have at ramp up. I have one on the master volume and one on the cutoff. Um, right now I have the cutoff off, LFO off, because I want to show you some, some changes. So let's listen as I add different modules in. So I'm going to turn this on and... And now I'm going to turn on the filter. And I'll turn on this LFO. And I'll turn on the distortion as well. So now, and I'll turn on the Magic EQ as well. Off. So now with the drums, you'll get that pulsating effect on the bass. You can make it tighter or looser by playing with the release. Another thing that I really like about um, Camel Fat is that it's it's really useful on just a wide range of different sounds. Here I have a uh, simple, simple string sound. But as you get into the different um, presets here, you can really just get some really interesting sounds. Everything from just adding a little bit of color to really decimating a sound. So let's just, uh, I'll just piece together a little part here.
So it's just a super fast way to take a more mundane sound and uh, get something really, um, really interesting out of it. And of course, some of the uh, important things that, that I always look at in plugins is how do they map in machine? Um, do they work well with my workflow? And Camel Fat is actually one of uh, the few filter plugins that really, really goes to town as far as the way it's mapped out. It's just super easy to use. Really, your your modules kind of just go straight straight through, so you can step through. You've got your uh, bandpass filter here. I'll move this out of the way. You could take a look at what the eight knobs show. Now this all reads right on your machine screen, so it's just super fast and easy way. And of course, you can automate all of this, so it's very, very easy, very quick to kind of get the sound that you want and play around and get interesting, uh, interesting results. So I can just take something like this and I can just play with it. Super fast to, to get that to work the way you want it. Basically, it's just a really easy to use, great filter, EQ, flanger, compressor, uh, envelope, ducker, distortion, bandpass filter, all these great things all in one. So I highly recommend it and uh, go check it out over at Camel Audio. Peace.